Hi, and welcome to the CERT Mike Practice Test Question of the Week, where I bring you a question that you might find on your next cybersecurity certification exam, and then explain my thought process as I answer that question. This week's question is about password attacks. Let's take a look. Fran is investigating an attack that took place against a website operated by her organization. When she looked at the authentication log entries, she saw that the attacker attempted to log into thousands of different accounts using a series of common passwords, before eventually finding a combination that worked. What term best describes this attack? Is it credential stuffing, brute force, password spraying, or a rainbow table attack? Let me give you a moment to think about that, and then I'll explain the correct answer. I release these questions once a week for members of my free CERT Mic study groups. There's a group covering each one of the major cybersecurity certifications. If you're working on your next certification, you can learn more at CertMic.com. Answering this question is a little tricky because it depends upon you not only recognizing that each of these options are indeed password attacks, but also knowing the details of how each one of them works. Let's start by knocking off two of the more clearly incorrect answers. First, this is not a brute force attack. A brute force attack attempts every possible password against an account. And in this case, we have a series of common passwords being used against a lot of accounts. It's also not a rainbow table attack. That type of attack requires that the attacker have access to a file containing hashed passwords, which isn't the case here. That leaves us with password spraying and credential stuffing, two similar attack types. Password spraying attacks take username and password combinations that were compromised on other sites and use them to attempt logging into the target site, based on the presumption that people will reuse passwords from site to site. Credential stuffing attacks use a series of commonly chosen passwords to attempt to log in to a series of accounts. That's what happened in this scenario, so the correct answer is A, credential stuffing. If you found this question helpful, please click the like button below and consider subscribing to my channel for more cybersecurity content.